Good evening. This speech is tough for me to give because as someone many can attest to in this building, it's been a long time since I've given a talk anywhere close to two and a half minutes. <laughs> it's also tough because although I've held many volunteer positions, those positions have typically come at the request of a civic or church leader. And so the necessity of standing up and telling you about my qualifications is frankly uncomfortable to me. When I do so, I preface my remarks telling you that any successes I have had have come by working in collaboration with other business, church, and civic leaders and using our combined skill sets to find, pro find pro solutions to problems guided by the hand of providence. I will use that same skill set as I serve here in Orm. My life in Orm began in 1969 when my mother moved her family from New York to this town seeking a better life. She was a single mother. Here I graduated from Orm High School in BYU and it's where Kay and I have raised our now four married children and ten grandchildren. My, my father-in-law, then Orm Mayor, James Mangum, likewise held to the values that made Orm great and helping to preserve those. Those values shaped me in my youth, gave me a foundation as a young husband and father, and have become the core of who I am today. Starting with a CPA background, I built a successful business career, and in 2007 was named the Businessman of the Year by the Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. I've always been a sensible, fiscal conservative. I've lived within my own means and paid off debts. Companies I've led have done the same. I will bring those same skills to Orm. I've also held many leadership positions in my church. One of those gave Kay and I the opportunity to live in Oregon for three years. It gave us a stark contrast of the differences between the values we hold to an Orm and those held elsewhere. Last week, we were able to attend an event, my wife and I, where Mia Love, Mike Lee, and Glenn Moe back spoke. All of them reminded us that America is the greatest country on earth, and I would add that Orm is one of its finest cities. Throughout the New Testament, Christians were told to fear not, be of comfort, and be peaceful. This was not because there would be no problem for them or the Savior to deal with, but rather because fear and anger are not useful attributes in overcoming the problems that face us. In the coming years, your city will face many challenges. I will work together in a transparent way with citizens to find solutions, and then move forward with radio-like optimism, knowing we can find solutions to our problems by working together. I will not require on-the-job training to learn about values, leadership, managing multi-million dollar budgets, or keeping my guiding principles. I'm Tom McDonald, and I ask for your vote in your support.